Next dive, forward somersault straight. This is a really, really important dive because it's the prep for all twists because you can't learn, in my opinion, back flip twists until you can learn front flip twists because they're similar. Front flip is so much easier and it's the foundation for back twists. So ultimately this dive is the foundation for actual twisting. You gotta be able to do a front flip straight. So ultimately you're gonna have to take off and you're gonna have to see the water on the takeoff and one thing I want you to practice is seeing the water and straightening. 30 of those. See the water, straighten. Because the hardest part is seeing the water on the takeoff. That's, that's where 90% 90, 90 of the divers go wrong at first. They're, they're so, they want to see where they're going so much that they don't do the dive right and they don't hold it straight. Okay, you can't be straight if you're trying to look where you're going. So this one is, you know, in diving, there's a lot of positions that go against what we're comfortable with as human and this is one of those dives where you're going to have to flip in this direction but you're going to have to keep your head up and it's going to feel unnatural. It's going to feel scary at first but it's not as scary as going into a twist and not knowing where you are and messing that up every time. So that's why that this is an amazing prerequisite. It needs to happen before we can do the twist. So a couple things you can do besides the 30 of, uh, that I just uh, prescribed you to do, the next thing you can do is a handstand walkover. So ultimately doing a handstand and then just keeping your eyes on the mat so you can actually just go, go over. That was a little bit uh, strenuous. <laughs> Let me do one more that's not so strenuous. Again, I'm not very flexible and I, I wasn't really planning for this one. But yeah, ultimately, it's just about doing the handstand and then just walking over. I would say to do 30 of those, but honestly, that, that's not very comfortable. But ultimately, it teaches you to keep your eyes up. So uh, one thing that we do at the pool is we do it at the edge of the pool and you can just fall in so it's not as impactful. Um, if you find any way that you can do that, whatever you can, maybe a trampoline, just keeping your hands, keep learning to keep your head up. Again, the reason this one's really hard, it requires you to overcome your fears. So I think practicing that first skill that I gave you is going to be the most helpful one. Just remembering that you got to see the water on the takeoff, your leg comes up and you got to keep looking at the water. And even when you notice when I was on my hands, I was still looking up at which is going to be the water if I'm upside down. So just remembering to keep your eyes on the water, remembering that it's not proper until you're looking at the water when you're upside down. So record yourself. Besides doing that here, bring your camera, record yourself at practice and see, make sure you're seeing the water as you front flip straight. And then also make sure you're safe on this dive at first. I don't like to see people too close. You gotta get the height, make sure you're safe. And then once you can do this while straight, it's all about holding maximum time in the T position. So the more time you could spend looking up in the T position, composed and calm, the better you're going to be able to actually twist. All right, so again, it's very, very important that you go over this. Uh, practice these skills, at least practice the takeoff that I gave you. If you forgot what that is, go back in the video and, and, and until you, you're clear that it's just reaching out to here. So for a forward angle, you're here, bending a little bit at the waist, core straight, and then it's just about reaching out and leg up. You can switch legs, boom. That's when you just want to hold. The more time you can hold there, staying calm in the air, landing feet first, then you'll be able to add the twist, which we're gonna go over shortly.